I recently upgraded to the ASRock Steel Legend Z690 motherboard. In choosing a motherboard, the most important things for me are the features, price, and how it looks. Important motherboard features for me include CPU overclocking, RAM overclocking, Sony Philips digital interface, ARGB, BIOS flashback, and plenty of SATA ports. The price. The ASRock Steel Legend Z690 is at a price I am familiar with when buying motherboards. I don't like the trend of modern overclocking boards going well over $200. Luckily, boards like the Steel Legend still exist, which has a solid feature set at a great price. The fact that this motherboard supports DDR4 is another thing that helps with the price. I already own a kit of fast DDR4 from my previous build, Crucial Ballistics which uses Micron b die and is capable of some good overclocking results after some tuning. Features For Z-Series boards, one standout feature is CPU overclocking. On this board, I was easily able to get a good overclock on my Core i5-13600K and DDR4 RAM. I got an extra 300MHz out of both the P-Cores and E-Cores lending me at 5.4 and 4.2 GHz respectively. I also set a 2 P-Core Turbo to 5.5 GHz for a slight boost in lightly threaded tasks. For the RAM, I increased the frequency from DDR4-3600 to DDR4-4000 with better than XMP timings. I was even able to run at DDR4-4200 with slightly looser timings but it required a bit more system agent voltage than I would like. So I went back down to DDR4-4000, which is completely stable and doesn't require much more voltage versus XMP. It is also easy to adjust the voltages, though there are two separate voltage menus. I prefer using the Fiverr, or fully integrated voltage regulator menu for CPU related voltages, but the standard voltage menu must be used for setting the DRAM voltage. The DRAM voltage in Windows also seems to run slightly lower than it does in the BIOS if Hardware Info 64 is correct. Since my AV receiver uses the Sony Philips digital interface, I use that for sound. My last motherboard had a different standard RGB port. This forced me to use an ARGB adapter to get limited lighting effects out of the Cooler Master all-in-one I'm currently using. However, the ASRock Steel Legend Z690 has full support for ARGB, which allows me to experience the full potential of the lighting of this AIO. The lighting can be controlled in the BIOS. At the end of the video, I will show all the ARGB lighting effects this board offers. BIOS flashback was required for me since I don't have a 12th gen CPU to flash from. Upgrading the BIOS via BIOS flashback is easy and allowed me to get up and running with 13th gen. I still use a number of SATA drives, so it's nice to have a good number of side-mounted SATA ports to help with cable management. Aesthetics With many cases having tempered glass side panels these days, it is also a good idea to choose a nice looking motherboard. This one looks nice to me and fits well with the rest of my components. The ARGB of this board looks good and can be changed easily in the BIOS, or you can turn it off if you don't like RGB. The ports on this motherboard are also in good positions, which allows for easy cable management. Extras Though I didn't buy this motherboard for it, it is nice that this board includes some extras like a keychain, velcro straps, a keycap, a graphics card holder, which could come in handy if you have a heavy GPU, and a postcard. Those are some things I've never seen included when buying a motherboard. The experience the BIOS layout is good and allows easy adjustments to the CPU and RAM for overclocking. It's also easy to make adjustments to the fan speeds and saving different overclocking profiles. The experience of using the board has been mostly nice, but one thing I had an issue with is the latest BIOS revision 10.04. I don't know if it is just me or if others are having this issue as well, but with BIOS version 10.04, I had issues getting my overclocking settings to work properly. I ended up dropping back down to BIOS version 9.03 and everything is working properly again. In the end, this is a great board at a great price, which has a good BIOS layout, allows me to easily overclock my components, 
has the Sony Philips digital interface, plenty of SATA ports, and has good ARGB effects. This year is also ASRock's 20th anniversary. It's good to have companies like ASRock around to bring feature-rich products at competitive prices.